some internal restructuring, Typhoon Hagibis is now back to Category 5 status with winds of 160 miles per hour and an estimated pressure of 902 millibars verified by SATI. At 6am Japan Standard Time this October the 8th, it was continuing to intensify onto its second peak now. The CDPS is looking at Katsura on the eastern part of Japan, not far from Tokyo. Stage 7 on the CDPS scale there. Potentially catastrophic conditions when the storm arrives, probably on Saturday. Here's its current appearance uh, on the map, that is, and the wind field quite large and almost uniform actually, up to 245 miles in radius, 19.5 north, 140.5 degrees east. It's currently 364 miles from Iwo Jima, 733 from the Daito Islands, 1089 from Osaka, 1104 from Nagoya, and 1118 from the capital, Tokyo. Well, all the warnings on the Mariana Islands have been lifted. There are no warnings in association with the storm in Japan just yet. That may change as we go down the line. The storm is on its way and is very strong and powerful and its wind field is likely to expand. Let's take a look then. The total rainfall expectations over the next seven days. The expected rainfall amounts over Japan have fallen slightly. That's why the CDPS scale has gone down to seven from eight earlier today and yesterday. Uh, we're now expecting up to 16 inches of rain. That could still be potentially catastrophic and uh, over a lot of mountainous terrain there it could cause not only flash flooding but landslides as well. You can see the amount of rain there. The pink area is 3 inches or higher. The general trend on the GFS and on other models is that the storm will move further east now and just skirt the coast of eastern Japan but it will be a very large system so it won't really matter that much if the storm even if the storm misses landfall it will still be felt very profoundly along the coast. This might paint the picture a little bit better the green areas show tropical storm force winds gale force winds there the yellow areas are typhoon force winds and this is over the next five days and there it is on Saturday, starting to make its presence felt in Japan. A lot of areas getting tropical storm force winds into Sunday. Hurricane force conditions, typhoon force conditions likely along the coast there. And not just a small part, quite a bit of it and possibly stronger than 80 mile per hour winds. We're currently expecting a landfall intensity of 100 miles per hour. That's 160 kilometers per hour. 64% chance of tropical storm force winds in Hamamatsu, 62% in Shizuoka, 60% at Tanabe, 57% in Yokohama and 56% in Tokyo. These percentages will rise, it's pretty low, in, relatively speaking, just because of the uncertainty so far. It is increasing, the certainty that is. So there could be that second peak over the course of the next 12 to 24 hours as we see in the models there because wind shear is going to be very low, below 10 knots even. And then wind shear will start to climb a bit of a mountain there as we get to the 10th, the 11th, the conditions will start to turn against the storm. What we probably won't see is significant rapid intensification because ocean heat content has decreased a lot since yesterday. However, looking at those latest images, the eye is starting to clear out a very robust eye wall around it as well. It's taking its sweet time clearing that eye and that's why the intensity is only just rising steadily up to above category 5 status now. If the eye clears out completely we could be talking again 180 miles per hour or more. I personally don't think that's going to happen at this stage um, but we remain to what we continue to watch what goes on with this storm because it's been fascinating so far and it is very dangerous. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.